What do you, what brings you down to Nantucket? Uh, my wife, we've been coming, I want to say 18 years on a regular basis here and there, week long. We always come for a week. And in, in this time of year? Um, according to my wife, we've been down here a couple times like this. Um, just to come for a night or two, just to get away. Oh, you that's know? fantastic. My wife likes it. It's a great place to visit. And so what do you forth. think of the people of, of Nantucket? Do you, do you have any... Uh... Natives or tourists? Yeah, okay. What do you think? Natives seem to be a hardy bunch, um, self-sufficient to themselves. Like a true Yankee that you, you tend to see. Um, they value their friendships. They value their time. Um, solidarity means a lot to them. Um, peace means, you know, they like the peacefulness of it. It's kind of unique to be out here all winter long when there's nothing else but the wind and the grayness of the, you know, the land. So it takes a unique person. Um, the tourists, you know, the Nantucket is 10 miles away. It takes a long time and a lot of, you know, effort to get here. So 30 miles. Uh, 30 miles. Okay, yeah. you're right. 30 miles. And it, it takes a lot of um, effort to get here and financial effort to get here. And I, I think it's an upper, you know, a hoity-toity type of place, yeah, as is. they say. And, and I think you look around, you think, I think everyone thinks they're on the concierge level when they're on here on Nantucket. You think, you, really? You think even the, the ordinary folks bring it up a level? When I they're think here. so. They feel I think, like they... yeah, I think they think they're at this. It is a really special place. You cannot deny Nantucket is not a unique, special place. Um, and I think when people come here, they're like, okay, where's the concierge? And you know, I want to be treated as. Do you think such. it's because of the shops? I think it's, what do you think it is? I think it's because of the affluence on the island. You can't be poor to be on this island, That's to have true. a house. I think it's because of the financial dynamics of the island. Everything's a little bit more expensive because of the 30-mile taxation fee that's added on to everything. I think a lot of people just look around and say, well, I'm amongst wealth. I might as well try to act like wealth. And a lot of people do that. You act to where you are. If you, if you go into the you know, unique situations, you, you act unique. And if you go into the different situations, you do that. Nantucket, it's, I've been coming for 18 years and you know people say it's changing, it's changing and I think the thing I see that's changing the biggest is you don't see the common man as much as you used to coming out you know and staying out of bed and breakfast because there's not a lot of bed and breakfasts here right. anymore and and you see these big exclusive places and it's not like the average person and then the you know, the, the work students used to be, you know, college kids who would stay, you know, June, August. Now, because of finances of college, you get kids from all over the world, which is awesome, but it changes the dynamics of it the does. place. And, and a lot I think, of people don't spend their money here either because they can't afford to. to right, and if you look goods. at the history of Nantucket, you know, first it was Indians that were here, and then there was another unique, you know, and then there was whaling. And, and, you know, I think Nantucket will always be changing, but I think the change. Ward is, is one of exclusivity, do you know what I mean? The uniqueness of being 30 miles away, uniqueness of being amongst so much wealth and so forth. You can't knock the place. It's got a lot of great charm. But you keep coming back. I do. My wife likes it here. And she likes that exclusivity. Happy, happy wife is a happy life. Well, yeah. that's true, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, she's no. dragging you along. It's not... You, you remind her? Do you say, look, you, you know... Let's she likes it, it here a lot. You know, there's a lot of peacefulness. There's yeah. a lot of great, you yes. know, there's a, right, the right. dining. You can't beat the dining. Right. You can't beat the beaches. You can't beat the peace and tranquility here. You can't, it, there's a lot of history here. There's a lot of great shopping here. You can't what do you do back there? I'm a life form artist back in New Hampshire. Life form? Yeah, basically I take raw genetic material and make human beings. And I stay at home with my two girls. So I'm basically a stay at home dad. But saying you're a life form artist sounds a little bit more impressive and people, you know. So what what what's the material like that you use? I have two girls and you know, they're my, I'm trying to raise them into healthy adults and so forth. Oh, I got it. All right. <laughs> now, so, so you're like, instead of like a house husband. Right, or a stay-at-home dad. I'm a life form artist. <laughs> I like it. I never heard that before. Thank you. Thank you. It's because, you did know, you make that up? Or is I that... did. I can. I probably could trademark that, but someone watching the show is already probably, you know. You better get the dot com <laughs> attached yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's a unique term because when you say stay-at-home dad, it implies that only moms can stay at home. You know what I mean? Or, or if you're, you know, a house husband, it, you know, you, you don't hear housewife, you know what I mean? It, it, if it's a, there's a negative kind of patient. So does that, does it bother you at all? I mean, Staying at home? Yeah. It, it's, I've done it for the past 13 years, and it doesn't really bother me because, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun. It, it, there's not a lot of people, well, there are more people doing it with me. 
Um, my girls. I don't know any guys, to be honest with you. You don't. Do that. I, I, don't. I, I know a few, and, and there's an exclusivity to it. You get to hang out with you know women all day. You get to get well, a different perspective of things. That's right. You get to see your kids grow and, and so forth. But it is funny though when I say life form artist. You know, my, my oldest girl will be, now he's just a stay-at-home dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's tired of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people, you're a life form artist, and people will think, you know, what type of medium and form do you use? You, you know, so it is a unique situation. And so, but I do a lot of woodwork and make make things. Oh, you do? So I do. I do a lot. I do the gardening, I do the laundry, I do painting. I help out people, you know, as and much as I cook? can. Do you do all the cooking? I do all the cooking, do all the washing, you know, take care of the two dogs, the turtle, the guinea pigs, the girls, make sure they go to their appointments, deal with my wife when and she... And when, when your wife comes home and she says, honey, I'm home, <laughs> what do you do? Um, I say, well, welcome home, you know, here's what's happening. You oh, know. I love it, man. Good for yeah, you. Yeah, you know, it's a unique situation. All men should try it, but it, it's, it's, it's hard because... One of the neat things, like you, if you do great, you get an Academy Award and an Oscar or an Emmy in your profession. You know, my wife does well at work. She gets a bonus. She gets, you know, it's, at home, if you're like, why well, I unclogged the sink. So what? You know what I mean? The girls are doing, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't get medals in this position. It's not like in Russia where you see all these old men that have these medals. People who stay home and take care of these kids, you know, they don't get anything for it. And you're like... All I do is take care of kids at her house. So if you say I'm a life form artist, you know, people start questioning and seeing it as a different perspective. There you go.